What's up, Interweb Heads? It's Mihai Technology and Dallas Sign, and welcome back to the Injustice League! So today, we are talking about um, the controller versus pad debate. Or, excuse me, the, the controller versus the pad versus the stick debate. I can't talk today. So... On the last episode, I told you guys about what was new with the game, you know, the new features since the last game had come out, and I told you we'd go over the whole debate, which is better, the regular control or the um, the fight sticks. So let's just go to training really fast, and then we will explain there. Okay, so I'm going to start with the controller first, because that is, the, I think, the controller that most people use just by default um so we'll go here and we'll cover we're doing the ps4 version that's like the tournament standard however uh i have an xbox one controller over there too so i can show you guys that as well but with the controller it's like i said it's the most it comes with the system so you get a game and then you know you play with the controller that you have whatever um there are pros and cons to it of course just like there is with the fight stick um but I would uh, let's just go over here. See. We'll just go over the buttons pretty much. Like it's it has four face buttons, which uh, I think more or less they're the same size as the Xbox One control here. Let me get it real quick. They're pretty much the same size, uh, more or less. I think I think the PS4 buttons, the face buttons, might be slightly bigger. Um, these are really like clicky. You can hear. Can't really. I mean, you can, but it's not as clicky. I think with the PS4 buttons. Um, now the big thing here is the D-pad. Now this, this is where it gets a little messy. And I think to me, I think the D-pad, you're at a disadvantage with the Xbox D-pad. He's gonna say he's gonna say otherwise. I'm gonna let him explain why and then i'll explain why i disagree with them so go ahead why, why is uh because on the xbox for me the you could slide your inputs whereas this one i feel like you have to individually hit the direction which messes up my my game anyways and so what about like the, the tr like is there a difference for the triggers for you too or what uh it just the triggers feel different i don't have a problem with the triggers i it's more just the d-pad for me i don't care about the triggers yeah and which which also brings me to um if you're looking to be i guess like just decent at the game don't like do not go uh, some people play with the analog stick but only if you know what the hell you're doing i would that's when i would suggest you use an analog stick don't do it it's just really difficult to try and do like moves like example i was all trying to <laughs> <laughs> uh, example, he's he's Supergirl, so let's reset the thing. So, what's a move of hers? She has like a back forward three, right? Is that a move? Yeah. yeah okay. So, check out. So, I'm going to use the D-pad. I'm going to do a back forward three. Look at the button log. Check it out. Simple, just a, a back, a forward, and a three. And the move came out. Now, I'm going to do the same exact motion on the analog stick. And this is what it looks like. That is exactly... What is this? Huh? This is whack! I can't get jiggy with this shit! What that looks like. Now the move did come out because the back and the forward came out before the three. And it's cool, but look at those extra diagonals that are in there. That's what happens. There's a lot of execution that gets lost in translation with the analog stick. And it ends up fucking everything up. Like, at least for me, I think that's how it is for most players too. So this is why the D-pad is the way to go because, like I said, that versus that right there that's i did but the move came out right but imagine trying to do a, a long combo a string of these moves and with this stick there's a lot of execution that's lost in there it's just it's just a mess so the d-pad is the way to go now i disagree with the statement with the d-pad because this when i watch him play and he's good when i watch him play he has like really simple issues that could be fixed if he were just a little more accurate 
and he claims that it is easier. Yeah, it is easier to do like something like um, what is it? like a teleport, right? So a teleport. That's the teleport move. It's a down back. Now with him, he says I like to roll my finger from down to back and then do the button. And it's easy like that, right? But then when he plays on this one, he has issues landing stuff like teleports or like Batman's little zipline gun. He can't do that shit because to me, he's used to having just playing kind of, uh, or just being sloppy, kind of lazy with the execution. That's what I tell him his issue is. He doesn't believe me because he just wants it to be easy, which is fine. But when it comes down to the nitty gritty and you need to be accurate with your movements, this is the way to go because they aren't the edges, the corners aren't connected like they are. You can still roll it, it just takes a little more practice. So that's like, for me, it's a con. Oh, the D-pad with the, with the Xbox controller. This is this is this is a pro right here on the PS4. Buttons are more or less the same. I think these have the bigger space on them in between. But for the most part, um, it's really it's it's also a pro because. You can do all your motions just like this. Like you don't have to do much moving with your thumb at all. Like you just do all your motions with the thumb. Same here. You can do all your motions with your thumb. You don't have to do much of anything. Now, um, like I said, a lot of people use this. There are some motions that are kind of tougher to do, especially when it gets really complex with movement. But we can get that later. Now, let's go with the stick. Now the stick. I like this because obviously it keeps your, your hand flat. Um, it's really easy to hit certain strings like do you do uh, do that was it two one two one two one two one two string It's the it's the Okay, that string right there now he can land it he landed it once but See he can land it over and over but for the most part it requires that you just like Mash it da -da 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 -da. and a lot of people have issues with that especially if you try to throw it in a combo And you have to do it really really fast it gets kind of tough with something like this. I'm not Supergirl, but if I want to hit two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, I can just do this. Like, look how fast my inputs come out on my on my log. Look how fast I can do that. I mean, I kind of messed up there then, but he's cheating <laughs> because he's doing it like me. But if he were in a real match, he'd have to use his thumb. That means he has to go da 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 really fast. Whereas me, my fingers are already here. I can just. Just like that. See how fast that is? It's just really easy. So that's a pro right there. Your fingers are laid out right there. The buttons are pretty evenly spaced. Um, it's really, if you know what your fingers are at all time, you pretty. It's 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 a good advantage. It's a really good advantage. The only disadvantage is that they're loud. Listen. So you can hear me smashing buttons. So if we're kind of in like a match, like show me an example. Come here. Come here. So if we're kind of like trying to feel each other out right here. And you know where it's down to the wire, it's like, oh, what's he gonna do? He can do moves kind of quietly, go. So, like, I can't really hear that, especially like in a tournament setting. I can't really hear him pushing buttons. I can kind of barely hear it right now, you know? But if I wanna do something and he's like waiting for me to move, listen to me do something. So if I wanna do something, I'm just like, uh. Like, see how loud that was? Like, he can kind of hear it before it even comes out, because you just hear me like. And you're not only that, you hear my stick moving too, so. I'm just trying to move. He can move silently. You can't really hear what he's doing, what he wants to do. Obviously, the inputs aren't going to be there. But if I make a move, I'll be like, just I can do that. And what if I whiff? What if my move doesn't even come out? That. So you can hear it. That's a disadvantage to me is the loud buttons. Is because they can hear it and they can hear it. You hear faster than you see. It's just your biology. That's the way it goes. So the disadvantage of these is that they're loud. The sticks are loud. You move them. Buttons are loud. You can hit the commands pretty easy. It's all there. You don't really have to do much. Now, another disadvantage, I think, um, is the movement. Now, if I want to do something as simple as, like, a back forward move, like, I literally have to move my wrist. My wrist is involved. I just have to go. See that? Whereas he can just, it's just a thumb. Boom, 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 boom. It's nice and easy. So there's that right there, right? So I think the movement, especially if you play something like Tekken, I don't want to talk about other games. If you play something like Tekken, you can, you have to like legit, it, it's a strain on your wrist after a while because it's just, it kind of hurts to move, it burns. Whereas with something else, you just use, it's all thumb. It's all thumb. These, however, um, they're really accurate. I think the, the, 
The joystick is really, really accurate as opposed to a D-pad, especially if you learn how to control it and not let it control you. And I think that's what the issue is with this guy right here. And keep that in mind. You, no matter what you use, you control it. Do not let it control you. And if you ever find that you're messing up on something, I told him, 99% of the time... It's the control. 99% <laughs> of the time, it's, it's gonna be you. It's an executional error. Okay, that's that's how I feel about it. Oh, and another, I think, uh, here's one more thing about the stick. Some of them are different. Some of the brands are different. But if I want to do something like the back forward one, if I want to do that, I have to be careful because sometimes, look, I'm just going to flick back, but look at the inputs. See that there? I just flicked it back once. That's all I did. And it went back forward. Same thing again. Now, what if I did that? Now look, I did back forward. That's literally what I did, but it went back forward, forward, back. You have to be careful with the way the stick works because it counts as an input, moving it back and then letting it go. If you let it go too hard, see if I do it soft, it's not going forward. But if I let it go too hard, it goes back to forth to back to forth. And that can be an issue. But it's good because it really teaches you to be precise. It teaches you how to keep your execution on point. And I think it's just really good. Um, a lot of the pro players use the stick in general because buttons are there. It's good for your fingers. It's kind of easy to hit the buttons. Um, the movement, it's just really precise with your movements and all your execution and everything you want to do. It's just a matter of... Um, you know, it's kind of has kind of has a sort of a, a learning curve to it as opposed to control because everybody knows how you control But these kind of have a learning curve to it And it's even tougher for those who didn't play the arcades and stuff when they were like younger and stuff like that But a lot of the pros use the sticks man a lot of the best players in the world use the sticks. some guys like Sonic Fox he Uses a control he uses a control, but I would call them exceptions for the most part because they're just he's There's just, a lot of guys who play with the control though. Uh-huh there are, but someone like Sonic Fox, the way Sonic Fox plays, if you guys don't know who Sonic Fox is, look up Sonic Fox. He's the best in the world! Pretty much, but the way he plays, dude, it's incredible for a pad. You know what I'm saying? So there are pros and cons, it's all up to you. These suckers, they're pretty expensive, man. They range from anywhere from 150 um, to, I'd say like 300. It, they're, they're pretty expensive. You can find some good ones online for some good prices. Decent prices, I should say, but for the most part, man, they're expensive. So if you really want to get into it, you're really interested in the stick, I would invest in an entry-level stick. There are some good ones out there um, for about, I'd say, like from any, anywhere from 80 to 100 bucks. Good entry-level, nothing super crazy or fancy. Like mine is the Street Fighter V edition, so of course that's going to cost more and stuff like that. The quality is really good. It's pretty bulky. It's heavy. I like it, man. A lot of them have like foam on the bottom and cool stuff, little designs. But entry levels, just get something that's just regular. It's kind of smaller, has the same amount of buttons. Um, it's not going to be super heavy duty, but it's 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 going to work the same pretty much. Just take care of it. So I would, if you rec I would recommend doing that if that's something you're into. If not, roll with your controller. Play with both. If you have a chance to play with both and you're interested, try both. Get an entry level stick. See how you like it. If it's not your thing, whatever. Stick with the controller. But other than that, man. This one is a no-no. The Xbox controller is reasonably playing on the PS4 because this is ass. This is garbage. Look at this little baby D-pad. Look how small that is compared to that thing. Look at it. I'm gonna grab your nuts. Come on. Look at it. Garbage. It's small. It's connected. You lose all your info in here. Your translation. I don't know why he plays with this shit. He's, he's, guy's trash right here. Still beat your ass. He can't even. Do, <laughs> he can't Let's even. Let's go. Let's show them. Come on, I don't want to practice, or I don't know. Let's, I want to he wants a one-on-one. -on -one. He wants a one-on-one. -on -one. He ass. wants a one-on-one. -on -one. We'll do. We'll do one one-on-one. -on -one. All right, let's go. No, cause you gotta go. I'm gonna uh, we'll play a couple. I'll beat your ass all kinds of ways. Here it goes. Oh, pop, bro. So I'm atrocitous, okay? This guy was telling me, oh, you're, you're I'm trash. <laughs> <laughs> I'm that's trash. A, that, that's a conversation <laughs> that we had <laughs> on closed doors. You want to take advantage of me, <laughs> me? I'm trash. Oh, trash! Oh. 
shit. Look at that. See, my buttons are loud. He can hear me doing shit. He's sitting right next to me, too. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. We have to restart. We have to restart. I'm sorry, guys. I just remembered. Look at that. No wonder why I didn't do it. Yeah. Oh, that's trash. This was trash. I didn't do it. <laughs> Actually, you know what? Are you cool? I think we're at an even distance. Let's just restart. Let's just restart. Okay. We'll restart. Is your control fine? Yeah, I'm good. Okay. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Alright, here we go. I had to get the controls out of the way. I, I thought something was wrong. I had a feeling. Bastard. Ah, I blocked, man. Ah! Ah, look at that! Oh, I love it. Damn! What's <laughs> up, boy? That starts my homie. Oh. Okay. Really, man? Look at that. Garbage. Ah, ah, ah. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Okay, it's all good. I can knock you down. <laughs> This guy. Ah, <laughs> you went to the beater too. <laughs> oh boy. Oh boy. Oh wow. Oh shit. That was my bad. Buzz. Ah, not again. I hate that. Oh my gosh! Stuff's the wake up. What? Oh! 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 He's right next to me. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Okay. What's up, bro? What's up, bro? Really? All right, it's all good. <laughs> this guy. Supergirl wins. The first of three. Actually, you know what? It's a best of three. First of three is a long time. It's a best of three. We'll do best of three. I just gotta win one more. First of three. That's not hard. First of three is a long time. First of three, that'd be a long time. Not would it? Yes, it would. For the video right now? Hell yeah. Ah. Boy, ah! Ah! What the? Did you see that shit? Oh yeah. Oh boy, I fucked up. Oh. Damn, I need to like learn to block that low shit. Really? Fuzz. Damn! Are you throwing? Wow. I did the wrong one. Fuck, my bad. Oh, that was see. Uh, that was an input error. That was an input error. Oh yeah, that stick is good. <laughs> that was an input error. See, that's you have to be careful with that too. The rolling motions. Be careful with your rolling motions. Yeah, be careful. Cause my 
might whiff. Like, yeah, he whiffs on a fucking control. There's no excuse for that. Like, at all. Oh, wow. Eat a ball. Ah! Oh! 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 oh. Okay. Oh. oh! Oh! Damn! Damn it, man! I hate that move so much! There we go. I missed it. <laughs> oh, dude! I used my super or my ability, and uh, it went all. It's all gone. Cause uh, you hit me right before. Oh shit! You hit me right before I come out. Oh shit! That's bad. That's no good. That's no good. Oh boy! Oh! Oh boy! Oh, that's not good! Oh shit! Oh! No, really? No! Oh my goodness. Okay, so he, he took it. Whatever. I'll give it to him. It's all good. But, so, yeah, that is the stick versus the pad talk that we that we had to have right there, okay? So, hope you guys, um, if you really want to get into it, decide what you want to roll with. Um, I really like these. These are just appealing to me. They remind me of, like, the arcades and stuff. I like them. He's just roll. He just... You know, he's cool with what he got right there, so that's all that. Anyways, I hope you guys liked it. Leave some likes, leave some comments. Do not hesitate to subscribe, and until next time, this is High Technology. And Dallas Hyde. And be there. I thought you wanted me to do the end. <laughs> <laughs> Hell no.